Hey guys, it is me, Creator Jules, and this is COVID-19 quarantine logs. This is day three of being in quarantine, and honestly, I took just the smallest of breaks from being in quarantine. So today I woke up and I realized like, I cannot drink wine and eat ice cream all day today. Like that's just not what's gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I've been working from bed and I am absolutely loving it. But I realized like I need to get up, I need to get outside, I need to have some movement because honestly, like I was just really scared that I was gonna slowly like become obese because yeah, the, the food that I was eating a bit was not good guys. Let's just be honest. Like we all got our quarantine snacks. Don't look at me that way. Um, but I ended up going to the grocery store today, which was really cool because I really wanted to see like all the empty shelves. Uh, I think by the time I got there, a lot of things had been restocked. So it wasn't as empty as I thought it was going to be, but there was still some like, my dog is like over here making noises. Hey, hey, stop that. <laughs> Anyways, so with that being said, uh, I went to the grocery store. It wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. It got some grops. That's grapes for those of you that don't know. Uh, got some grops. Went and got some water, some watermelon, and checked out. Um, I will say the entire time I was in the grocery store, I was like, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Please don't breathe on me. Please. So that was pretty much my whole experience in the grocery store. It's so interesting though. People seemed a lot nicer. I don't know. Maybe that was just me. Like people just seemed like they were in a bunch better mood. And I think it's probably because like, you know, a lot of things are really terrible in this world right now. So people are much more aware of like how it's affecting everybody. And it's just made everybody stop and think like, wow, people are really affected by this. There are other people in the world besides just me. And there is such a focus on caring about what's going on in the world versus what's going on in your own life. Um, and I think that's what's really crazy cool about this opportunity in life is that it's really making people see like, hey, even the smallest things affect everyone around you. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That was the, the epiphany I got at the grocery store today. Um, then I decided to go to my friend Bethany's house and well house, she has an apartment. So I went downtown today and her apartment is downtown and I hung out with her and worked with her all day in her place because I just needed a change of pace and environment. Um, and the only people that I've interacted today with are my roommate Chris and Bethany. And so I am making a very sound decision not to interact with older people or children because I just, you know, don't want to be the cause or the spread of this pandemic. Um, I know that even going outside of my house can cause like maybe some ripples, um, and especially going to the grocery store. But, um, at some point you kind of have to continue to live life. And I think that that's a little bit of where I was, was like, I need to get out of this house. Um, but yeah, I mean, with that being said, I got a lot of work done today. Uh, I think I mentioned in my <laughs> log yesterday that I really like working from home and I like, you know, being able to choose where I go and when I go. Um, today it made me realize like, we all have like an innate desire inside of us to do what we want to do. I know that sounds dumb and I know that sounds weird, but I think truly like if we listen to our own hearts and our own minds, we know exactly why we want to do things or we have an innate desire to do those things. But a lot of the times we tell ourselves no because of guilt or pressure from friends, family, or society. And so I think what's really throwing everybody for a loop right now is like, hey, you can work from home. Hey, there are there opportunities to like make money from home. And I think this is really gonna push us all into the digital age, which I think is really interesting to think about because a lot of these brick and mortar businesses are having to go digital because this thing is not gonna just like clear up in a week. Like this isn't like one person got sick. This isn't the entire world got sick. So we have to quarantine at least for the next seven weeks. So this is life until everybody is better. So it's been really, really interesting. And like the pandemic or excuse me, COVID-19 has actually mutated and now it's like infecting my age demographic. And so all the people that were like not taking it seriously are taking it seriously now. And I think it's really important that we all take it seriously together because it doesn't just impact you. It affects and impacts everybody on a global scale. So I think it's really, really important that we all come together and just say, Hey, like I'm going to try to have the most minimal amount of contact possible. Like it'd be really, really nice if, you know, Amazon prime would just be a homie and like deliver all of our groceries for free. That would be, that would be dope. Amazon prime. Where you at? Jeff Bezos. Come on now. You got a little money to spare. Um, <laughs> So with that being said, uh, I think that's really my update for today. Um, I'm doing IG lives with 
my friends just to talk about their points of view. They're from all over the world. Um, and just kind of hearing like what's going on in their world and how it's affected them. So if you want to tune in for that, that's on my IG. Um, but yeah, guys, I really, really hope that y'all are staying safe, social, sanitized, at a distance. All right.